Hi, in this video, I am going to show you how to define a contact in your model. First, I am going to select 3D space dimension. Then, I am going to select solid mechanics. Finally, I'm going to select stationary study. My geometry is not big, so I'm going to change unit to centimeter. I want to create a black with a small gap in the middle of it. Now it's time to create a gap in the black. I want to apply a large deformation to the black. So uh, rubber is a good choice. Uh, it's time to define boundary conditions. I want to apply a displacement to the top of the black and I'm going to fix the bottom of the black. Finally, I'm going to click on compute. The formation is exaggerated. I have to change scale factor to 1. As you can see, two edge of the black is overlapped. Now I have to define a contact. This is a self-contact problem. So the source boundaries and destination boundaries must be same. Contact one have been added automatically. Now we can see the gap obviously. We can define any type of contact, such as wear, friction, a slip velocity. We can see here a friction model. Thank you for watching.